When evaluating personalities from the perspective of the sun and the moon in Vedic astrology it gives a completely different picture and this is what we will analyze in these series with case studies without the case studies we'll be lost we'll have no reference points or perspectives on how to look at this from an objectively scientific logical perspective yeah so from the perspective of vedic astrology two guiding principles are the sun and the moon the two luminaries that guide and focus our energies as a soul in particular directions that's the principle the sun and the moon so number one the rule is the ascendant nakshatra has the energies of the rising sun your rising sign also the external male principle what you display in the world what the personality wants to show in the world the physical personality the ego structures extroversion traits which are displayed externally external drives external impulses external behaviors etc the sun is all about shining forward it brings forth anything that to shine in the world it's an external male principle is the first one we should see the ascendant nakshatra the next one is the moon nakshatra which has the energies of mind as translated to emotional content the subconscious desires the deep seated emotional tendencies and needs the introversion the emotional impulses you can also call it the emotional body this is the moon the second luminary so we are talking both about the display of external and internal and that's all we are in this polarized world when we come in as souls so let's evaluate with case studies one by one because we are talking about three kinds of ganas here the dev gana the manushya gana and the rakshasa gana and we are talking about ascendant and moon nakshatra in the placement in the birth chart so it gives us number of combinations which we shall see one by one now let's consider the mismatching of the ascendant nakshatra and the moon nakshatra in terms of temperament yes the devgana and the rakshasa gana in this case ascendant being devgana and moon nakshatra being rakshasa gana what does this kind of personality lead us this person is idealistic and ambitious this person may have a strong desire to achieve their goals and aspirations while also striving to make the world a better place they may be driven by a sense of purpose and a belief in a higher power or spiritual force guiding them towards their destiny they are confident and independent kind they may have a strong sense of self and be comfortable with taking risks and making decisions independently they may also possess a strong leadership qualities be comfortable in taking charge in a group setting they are materialistic by nature they may place a high value on material possessions and financial success which can drive their ambition and desire to succeed competitive rakshasa gana people gives a competitive edge they may enjoy competition and may have a desire to be the best in their field or industry strong will again rakshasa gana they may be determined and persistent in pursuing their goals and may not be easily deterred by obstacles or setbacks people with this combination with what combination are we speaking about ascendant in devgana and moon in rakshasa gana nakshatra we are analyzing personalities with respect to nakshatras in a person's chart so people with this combination may be motivated by a desire for success and achievement as well as a desire to make a significant impact on the world around them they may be drawn to careers in fields such as business finance or politics where they can exercise their ambition and leadership qualities to achieve success at the same time they may also have a desire to use their resources and power to help others and may be motivated by a sense of duty or responsibility towards others and the society at large now let's examine the case study of a man's chart called b 
and his ascendant is in the devgana nakshatra of shravana so ascendant is in devgana of shravana and moon is in magha nakshatra which is a rakshasa gana right so let's see how this plays out and with respect to the elements dominance in his chart we can see that earth is very dominant in this person's chart seconded by air so this person is very earthly and mental in nature overall okay ascendant in shravana what are the themes as we can see there it's listening to good counsel taking advice given to make progress in life that will be the challenge for them so that's playing out in the ascendant social connections with spirituality so this might person might be inclined to make or participate in social group settings with spiritual kind of people they're happy and easy going and because we see the earth elements let's focus on the earthly parts of this materialistic the materialistic in nature although he has got ascendant in first pada or shravana which is capricorn going into aries so they will want to make more like emotional connect with people passive receptivity more like an idealistic person that's their ascendant now the moon on the other hand is playing out in magha nakshatra so how is the rakshasa gana playing out it will play dominantly because this person has a very dominant earth sign playing earth element playing right ascendant is in capricorn in shravana and also the earth is very dominant and magha nakshatra being rakshasa will play out more dominantly you see how i'm analyzing this so the magha nakshatra is about ancestor energy it's about property it's about inheritance it's about making good fortune it wants power and leadership and fame of course you'll have to see all the other houses and where the planets are placed but we are talking about general personality signatures here once we understand the signature of what is going on with the person's personality we will know where the soul is driving this self as a human towards certain kind of pursuits in life this person may also be natural leader maybe into politics okay they may be good planning engineers planning i would say would be more dominant <clears throat> because planning requires a little kind of groundedness you need to work with practicalities of life to become a good planner and because shravana also gives those kind of ideas it's a movable sign it can adapt very nicely so earthly plus air is a good planner quiet type nature that's another strong quality of magha nakshatra they are strong defenders and they may need attention and flattery so what i see as a personality for this man over here in our case study is a shavana in pada 1 and magha in pada 4 other 4 becomes more leo going into cancer so more of a planning more of management more of emotional side of things which are grounded which require a balance of thinking and in earthly matters like you know taking grounded aspects of working through something that's what i see in this one next one we shall try and examine devgana with manushyagana Okay, meanwhile, take care, be safe.